Hey guys, it's Rich Ferguson here, and it's the holiday season, and you know what that means. It's time to sit together with your friends and family, have dinner, and prank the heck out of them. That's right, today I'm teaching you 10 awesome pranks you can pull at your holiday dinner. Check it out. All right guys, for this devious and simple prank, what you're gonna do is get a can of this jelly cranberry sauce, which is very popular on Thanksgiving, and a box of Jello. And it can be raspberry or blackberry, something that's dark red. And what you're gonna do is go to the kitchen, open up the can of the cranberry sauce, dump the contents into another container so you can save it for later, make the Jello, and what you're gonna do is pour the Jello into the cranberry sauce can. Put this in the fridge, let it cool, and then what you have at the end is a can that looks like jelly cranberries, but it's not. Check this out. We'll dump this sucker out. Oh yeah. Take this, slice it up just like you normally would, and serve it to your guests. Nine more pranks to go. This next prank is so simple. I've actually done this on the Today Show. I'll put a link in the description. What you're gonna do is put some mashed potatoes aside in a container so you can put this in the fridge or freezer so it gets nice and cold. The reason you do that is because you're gonna get an ice cream scoop and you're gonna scoop up some balls of mashed potato and you're gonna put it in another container. Look at that, that's beautiful. Put some scoops of cold mashed potato into a glass container, then dress it up with a little bit of chocolate syrup. And if you want, throw a cherry on top and serve this to your guests. As a side note, the reason the mashed potatoes need to be chilled is so the chocolate hardens. <laughs> All right guys, this next prank is gonna freak out everyone at the dinner table. If you're a kid, get your parents to help you with this to prank the entire family. What you're gonna do is take your turkey and you're gonna stick a small chicken inside of it, cook it as normal, and serve it up at the dinner table. But here's the prank. Of course, once they start carving the meat, people are gonna notice what's that inside, which is normally the gizzards or the stuffing. They're gonna pull out the insides and it's gonna be what looks to be maybe a baby turkey. This is epic. I can't wait to hear if any of you guys try it. Hit that like button, it's free, just do it. All right, it's the holiday season and it's festive and everyone's having all kinds of fun drinks, especially Martinelli's and different wines. So what you can do is find one type of drink that matches another drink and swap it out. So pour the wine or Martinelli's into some container and then fill this up with 7-Up or something else and sit back and relax as people spit up their drinks. This next prank is so simple and will fool the whole family. What you do is you cook your turkey as normal. Once you're done, pull out the stuffing or whatever happens to be inside of it, and then take an unopened bag of stuffing from a box, stick it inside the turkey, and then present it at the table. Don't mention anything of it, and as people start carving, say, hey, can you get me some of the stuffing? Pull out the bag and act as if this is how you thought it was supposed to be cooked and prepared. Pull out the bag and everyone will freak out, what did you do? Why is the bag in there? Say, well, it said to put it inside the turkey. And so play it off any way you want, and of course, you've already got the stuffing elsewhere in a different container, bring it out and the joke's over, but this is just such a simple and fun, friendly prank. If you're new to this channel, subscribe right now. Here's a fun prank you might want to pull on people at the holidays. There's always an aunt or a mom or somebody preparing lots of food and you might want to pretend you can't stand their cooking. So what you do is you secretly place an order for 20 pizzas, but do it just loud enough so people overhear you. Play it off like it's not a big deal and they're going to think maybe you're joking, right? So then what you do is you already have a cousin or another friend who's coming to the party later knock on the door about 20 minutes later and then you can act as if that's the pizza delivery. And of course at the end you reveal it's just a joke and that your mom's cooking's just fine. This next prank is hilarious, but it's gonna take a little preparation on your part. What you do is go to KFC, get one or two of the buckets of chicken and also the containers for mashed potatoes. And maybe what you do is between now and holiday dinner is go ahead and get this and eat it with your family or whatever and save the containers. What you're gonna do is put your food in these containers or at least part of the food in these containers and present it to people at the dinner. Now, once people are looking at you like you're crazy, of course, reveal the inside is the home cooked meals and you can bring out the other dishes and present it as well. This is one of my absolute favorite drink pranks. What you're gonna do is get some jello that matches the general color of one of your favorite drinks that's gonna be served at dinner. Now you can also buy non-colored gelatin and you can use colored drops and color it to be anything you want. So let's say at the dinner, you know there's gonna be juice for the kids with a straw. You can make this jello, put it in the fridge, and look what you got. You have this solid thing of jello which looks like a drink the kids can suck on. 
well, nothing's gonna happen, it's hilarious. And also people have wine. So you can serve up a couple glasses of wine, have these pre-made in the fridge, and then there's the big joke. Well, of course, afterwards, you bring out the glasses, you pour the wine as usual, but this is a hit at a party. Also, it's just fun to play with once the gag is over. And you know what? You already have dessert right here. If you enjoy these tutorials, please share this video. This next prank involves everybody's favorite thing, pumpkin pie. That's right. What you're gonna do is get yourself a couple of these uncooked pie crusts. You're gonna take one out, stick it in the oven, and cook it. And that's just so that the edges are a little golden brown and it looks legitimate because what you're gonna do is do a prank, of course. Once your pie crust is done and cooled, take it out of the oven and get yourself a can of whipped cream. And what you're gonna do is fill this thing up with just whipped cream and serve it to your guests. Now, I will note, you can take a regular pumpkin pie and cut out all of the insides and throw it aside or eat it and leave just the crust for this prank, but I'll leave this option up to you. Oh yeah, look at that. So fill this baby up with whipped cream and serve it to your guests and sit back and laugh as they try to cut this thing open. Now, of course, you can do this with any kind of pie. It doesn't have to be pumpkin pie, any pie that people enjoy having whipped cream on top. This looks so good, I gotta give myself a piece. Hey, hey, what's going on in here? Mmm, pretty tasty. This next prank is great to pull on the person who's prepared all the food. What you do is you step up and say, hey, I want to volunteer to help bring all the food out to the kitchen table. You go into the kitchen, you get yourself a tray, and you put random stuff on top of it. Leftover food, containers, some cereal, spoons, whatever it might be, and make it look as if you have a tray of the holiday dinner. Come around the corner and then trip just when you're inside of people right behind a counter and go down, boom! Stuff goes everywhere, everyone's freaking out. Have the real food tray prepared and just out of sight so when you come down, you can reach over and secretly grab it and then come back up and go, oh my gosh, guys, this is horrible. And as you see everyone's faces turn white, especially the people that prepared all the food, worked so hard, you get to come up with the real tray and laugh. All right guys, here's a crazy bonus prank for you. And if anyone does this, I wanna hear about it. What you do, since it's the holiday season and you got friends and cousins and brothers and people from out of town visiting that you haven't seen in a while, you might be in the mood to get in some, some trouble. So what you do is you head down the street and you see people coming and going out of a house and you let yourself in and act as if you're distant cousins and just go on in there, sit down, relax and start talking to people and you'd be surprised at how people will not know who you are and assuming you're a date or a new fiance or whatever it is, especially if it's a big party. So I wanna hear about this and if you do it, make it a competition between your friends and see who can keep their face straight the longest. All right guys, if you enjoyed these pranks and you wanna see more, hit that like button, share this with your friends. It really helps out a lot. You guys have really been enjoying my giveaway. So once again, I'm gonna give away my trick book. What I'm gonna do is once we hit 10,000 likes, I'm gonna go through the comments and pick 10 people. I'll reply to you and all you have to do is be the first to reply back to me in private message with your information and I'll send this off to you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support and all the love. This channel is blowing up and I couldn't do it without you guys. So just continue to hit that like button, share my videos with all your friends, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Subscribe to Rich Ferguson or else.